I went through a really hard stage of my life. And it was because I was dealing with my sexuality. It was self-identity. It was being an adoptee, trying to figure out who I was, what I wanted to be, and the expectations that I felt like I needed to uphold. This is great. I'm gonna, we're going to talk forever about this. Now, let me ask you this. So when did it start? These feelings of like, you know, who am I? I think, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sexually uh, rebelling, all that yeah. stuff. When did that happen? As, I think it was always in me, and then I didn't realize it until I could understand what it what it meant. Yeah. So. Fourteen. Earlier. Twelve. I knew I was gay. I knew, like, I knew I could feel it inside of me. Like, I don't know. When when do you go through puberty? How old? Uh, six, seven, eight, twelve. Nine? Uh, as early as nine, even. There were like you. Ten, I could 13, tell, right? Yeah. I was looking at things differently. Not in a sexual way as like my sexuality, mm -hmm. but just like feeling like, oh my God, who am I mm -hmm. and what, I, what am I doing? Mm. So with those, with those feelings inside, did you get straight A's? No. <laughs> you seem no. like you got straight A's. I, I did in music, art, creative. creative stuff. Yeah. Math, science. I nearly fa failed math and science. So we're the same, I, I think. Thank you, God. We're the same Lord, kind of, we refer to him the as Lord, Lord, Lord here. You and, well, you and I are the same kind of Korean. What, what is, what? Or people. No, we're just... People. Uh, no, Korean. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to specialize it. Okay. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Specialize Yeah, let me yeah. specialize it, okay? Yeah. I just, because growing up, my parents always told me that, like, Koreans, you know, they get straight A. They go to Harvard, you know, that kind of thing. And then as I get older, I meet people like Kristen and David Cho and these types of people that are like-minded. Like, we have the same kind of, like, you know, struggles and whatnot. And it's like, we're also creative in, in different, you know, mm -hmm. in different ways. And it just, it feels, you know, like I'm not alone almost. But did your parents allow you to water that creative grass mm -hmm. uh -huh. they let me mess up yeah, yeah. They let that's me a mess different up. that's where you so not allowed when you so when you what, like when you were in high school and do you smoking pot mm -mm. no drugs not in high school okay. cigarettes cigarettes, cigarettes. did you yeah. drink in high school i yeah. pretended to drink yeah <laughs> what, is did you, what is that i didn't enjoy it but yeah. i like did it to fit yeah. in. did you yeah. date guys just for the optics of it uh, high school, no, because I didn't really like, yes, I was like, let's get a boyfriend, like, because that's mm. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But I didn't, it, not because I wanted to live my life as like a true partner to a man. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. The title of it is what you were going Did for. Did you go to prom or homecoming or anything? Of course. Yeah. With, yeah. With, with, with men. Right. Boy, I should call them boy. they were boy, boys. They're boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then you're now you're, in, did you go to college then? I went to my first year of college for international business and economics. Mm. I was nearly failing out of it. I was Ugh. doing horribly. It was awful. And then my mom was like, you're not going back. Why don't you try culinary school? If you love oh. cooking, we'll get you out of Michigan. We'll go to Chicago. We'll get you set up and oh. go do you. Oh, that's a, that's a good mom. Great mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, yes. Mm -hmm. So when did the sexuality, when did you come out? I came out at 27, 8. Wow. Late. Was it 28? I don't, yeah, I, at me. A, I know. I feel like that's you have Google you. everywhere. <laughs> she yeah. came out. I think yeah. it was 28. I think it was 28. 28. Because, but I was already dating women. But here's the thing. Also, my life was never public until after Top Chef, which I mm. never really understood what it looked like to have like a public person. Mm. So how, I was like, how old were you when Top Chef happened? Tw I, 2014. Mm. So how old were you? I don't know. I don't None do math. Us. We all failed at I math. I failed at math. I can't. Yeah, do that. I yeah. George. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but wait, were you out by the time you were on Top Chef? No, nice. I came out after Top Chef. Oh, but you you were you already knew who you were. Thirty one. You were thirty one. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> took me a while. Yeah, we yeah. got there. <laughs> wait. So that's, that's interesting. Wait, I was thirty one when I was on Top Chef. Thirty or thirty one? No, I. No, it was before that. Okay, well, okay. you said 2014, right? I'm done right? with this. Who, who gives it a shit? It doesn't matter. Matt doesn't matter. has to be seven fuck. years ago. And you're 38 now? You, 37. 37. You, okay, you were 30. You were 30. You or 29. You competed in 2012. I uh, competed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't even know what fucking year you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Did your mom know, though, when you before you came out, did your oh, mom I, let me tell you how okay. I came out to my mom. So right. I started dating someone, and that's why I decided to come out because I was like, "Fuck this! I don't want to live in like private." I actually love. I'm, I felt I fell in love with someone, 
And so I remember I was sitting in my apartment and I was laying on my bed with my phone, looking at the ceiling. And I was like, mom, she's like, yeah, I think I got to tell you something. And like what felt like, I don't know, eternity, mm. nothing was coming out. And I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I was like, I'm dating someone. She's like, okay. And I said, we're going to come home. She's like, okay. And I was like, and it's a girl. And I, like what felt like she didn't say anything forever. Oh. She was like, oh, well, I, I think we already knew, Kristen. Are you happy? And I said, yes. She was like, great. Can't wait to meet her. Well, that's it. So sweet. Yeah. That was it. It's sweet. It moved you. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it moved me because um, my parents wouldn't have done that. Mm -mm, I certainly wouldn't. Shall we play Bec it? Because the expectation wanna, that they wanted for you? You want to replay it? Okay. Dad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you had told your dad that you had, you know, um, 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 lovers, male lovers when you were in high school, how would he have taken it? Oh, he knew. Oh, he did? Oh. Well, he knew that I, I sucked dick before. Yeah. yeah. They're not lovers. Oh, I don't Wait, know. Wait, how do you say that to your dad? Yeah, I would rather call him a boyfriend. I uh, suck a dick. No, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I go. You know, I just said, hey, when in high school, uh, where I was young in middle school, I sucked a couple of people's penises. And what did he say? Well, this is like when I was in rehab, right? Oh. So, oh. you know, he, I mean, he, he laughed when I said that I was molested by a guy with Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Oh, in he group. Laughed? Yeah, he went into a Your convulsion. Whole my whole family. The whole family. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, and um, and then everyone <laughs> in the group laughed. You know what I mean? It, it became a thing, and I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> "That's hilarious, You're right?" But um, yeah, I, my, my my parents knew because of the dr massive methamphetamine and mm. drugs and all the stuff that I was doing that they just thought I was gonna die. Mm. So you know, at that point, they f saw me having no future. Mm -hmm. Right? They're like, "This guy." can die like this guy has no skill set he is something happened at birth I, I i don't know what they were thinking but they were like obviously i mean i went to three rehabs mm -hmm. in high school and they just kept shelling out this money and they're like putting me in these places i'm in these you know these hospital gowns mm -hmm. constantly and um then in my when i got did get sober i lived at home for years mm -hmm. I, like the way i behave now i sleep until three Late at night, jerk off, you know what I mean? Yeah. And frantically, you know what I mean? And just had no future. Yeah. You know, and then I became a star. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I, can, I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. And I, I don't know, forgive me if um, you've probably talked about this a million times or maybe you don't mm -hmm. want to talk about it at all. Go ahead. Um, w you know, when you started experimenting with drugs and when it became like an issue and it whatever became an addiction, do you have you pinpointed 